Tonight at Chesterfield, mother whose child disappeared for three weeks in December is pushing for change in Virginia law. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. She says a modification in the Consumer Data Protection Act could have helped find her daughter sooner. 8 News reporter Madison Moore is live in the Digital Center with this mom's ask. And Madison, she says it's not a big one. That's right, Eric Deanna, 15 year old Tabitha Sice disappeared in the middle of the night on December 5th. And after police deemed her as a runaway, there was no Amber Alert issued, which left the family searching on their own. I thought she was dead. You know, after three weeks of not seeing or hearing from your child, you just, you start to lose hope. I was up all night every night while Tabitha was missing, just in case there was a phone call, in case someone found her, in case I needed to go get her. Weeks after 15 year old Tabitha Seitz went missing near her North Chesterfield home, her mother, Cora Seitz, got her Christmas miracle. She called me and then I was afraid to let her off the phone, so I called the police and the police went and retrieved her and came to our house and we went from there. Sites says her daughter was manipulated by a 45 year old man who she met online. He picked her up and they drove over 40 hours away through seven states. Chesterfield police deemed Tabitha a runaway after evidence showed she destroyed her laptop and deleted all of her social media accounts. Every single thing was, we can't do it, we can't do it. Like her Gmails were deleted, her Xbox account was deleted and they couldn't subpoena it because there was no evidence of a crime um, because the evidence of the crime was deleted with the digital accounts. This Virginia law under the Consumer Protection Data Act is not specific to runaways, but site says if the age were to change to include children under the age of 18, this could have helped in finding Tabitha sooner. Stop saying you can't get their data because they're over the age of 13, because in this case, especially Yes, she may have left willingly, but she left willingly because she was coerced, because she was manipulated. Telling kids to delete all of the information before they pick them up, that protects the predator. It doesn't protect the child. It doesn't protect the family. We're on the 95 corridor. You can be in and out of the state in two hours. Something has to change, and we have to take it more seriously. Now the man has been charged with human trafficking, among other charges, and sites tells me the FBI has taken over her case. In the Digital Center tonight, I'm Madison Moore, 8 News.